Calispera, and thank you for the opportunity to present to you all this afternoon. My name is Danielle Centeno, Assistant Vice President of Loss Prevention at the American PI Club, and a New York Maritime College graduate. I hope you all enjoy my short presentation this afternoon entitled Ectus Navigation, Jamming and Spoofing, as well as my funny New York accent. Electronic navigation is no longer the future. It is the standard. A vessel fitted with an official electronic chart display information system, or ECTIS, must be integrated with systems providing the vessel's heading through the gyro compass, speed information through a speed log, and continuous position fixing, GNSS, commonly referred to as GPS. ECTIS, like other bridge equipment systems, rely heavily on its assimilation with GPS. Interruptions or interference to these signals can develop into a major risk to safe navigation. There are a number of factors from both natural and human-made sources that could impact GPS signals. GPS signals received on Earth are generally weak and susceptible to interference. Signals could be disrupted by reception issues due to bad installations, a poorly positioned antenna, or faulty equipment. It is also possible for criminals intending to lead ships astray to interfere with signals by using spoofing or jamming tactics. In a spoofing occurrence, an adversary recreates satellite signals from a source other than the satellite and transmits a spoofing signal in order to capture a GPS receiver. The signal calculates a false position and tricks the GPS receiver into believing it is elsewhere than where it truly is. Jamming works by overpowering local satellite signals with an interfering signal that leads to a failure of the satellite-based navigation on board, essentially blocking the satellite signal so that a receiver can no longer operate. The best defense for these attacks may already be within your equipment's capabilities. The mitigation solution for the two situations differ accordingly. There are modern anti-jam technologies available that work by preserving the antenna's view of the GPS satellites. The technologies to protect against spoofing also exist, although most are not available for commercial use. Multi-constellation receivers have made it much harder for adversaries to spoof because of their ability to track multiple GNSS simultaneously. For example, GPS, which is of the USA, GLONASS of Russia, Galileo, of the EU and Beidou of China. It is believed that in the near future, all new devices are expected to have this capability. In the event of a suspected cyber incident, it is important to seek assistance promptly and report it to the appropriate authorities. Ensure relevant authorities for cybersecurity incidents are included in the emergency contacts as well as the cyber incident response plan. This plan will contain the best practices and procedures for navigation equipment failure and should be complementary to the existing safety management system policies. In order to effectively respond to a loss of GPS signal in your ECTIS, it is good practice to maintain a checklist, which is specific to the type of ECTIS installed on board, and include steps for mitigating or troubleshooting a malfunction. It is important for seafarers to be able to properly operate their ECTIS should a real-world incident occur. Equipment could fail or be tampered with. For this reason, we must always use all available means of navigation and maintain proficiency in order to navigate safely should a failure occur. This concludes my presentation for this afternoon. F. Garisto, and I look forward to your questions.